first two questions, um, we figured out our polynomial function. And if we didn't have the computer program to help us, then what we would have to do is we would have to plug in 40 for x every time and then figure all of that out. So that's why I showed you the computer program because, um, you know, I don't want to do 40 to the fourth power and 40 to the third power and then have to multiply it times 17 over 3,840,000. That's just going to give me, like, uh, anxiety because that's a lot of numbers there. Okay? So we figured this out. Now, it says estimate the area of the cross sections. All right, so yesterday, or I'm sorry, last week, we talked about we could create um, triangles and trapezoids. All right, so now we know that this point is 40, negative 17, and we know that this point is 80, negative 21. All right, so now let's look at this. So I've got a triangle here. I've got a trapezoid here, a trapezoid here, trapezoid here, trapezoid here, and then my other triangle. All right, so let's talk about how to find the area. So the area of a triangle is one-half base times height. All right. The area of a trapezoid would be area is equal to A plus B, that's our sides, divided by 2 times the height. All right, so we've got to do all of this math here. All right, so let's look at this. We're going to start with, and we'll just label these. We'll label this 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. All right? That's what we're going to do. All right, so let's find the area of 1. So the area of the first figure, the first figure is a triangle. So my base would be from 0 to 20. So my base is 20. So 1 half times 20. And then I find my height by whatever this is, and that is 20. All right. And so I'm going to figure this out. Um, so 1 half of 20 is 10. 10 times 20 is 200. All right, so it's 200 square feet. We're going to find the area of 2. 2 is a trapezoid. All right, um, A and B are my sides. So I've got one side that's 20 and one side that's 17. So I have 20 plus 17 divided by 2. And then my height, I'm going to use this right here. So it is... Um, 20 to 40, so that would be 20. All right, so you can pull out the calculator really quickly and do 20 plus 17, divide that by 2, and then multiply that times 20, and that gives us 370 square feet. All right, the area of my third figure, my third figure here. So I have a side of, what is this? Well, this is um, 17, and I have a side here of 15. So I have 17 plus 15 divided by 2. And once again, I'm going to look at my um, height here. My height is 20. All right, pull that calculator out, 17 plus 15 divided by 2 times 20 gives me 320 square feet. All 
All right. My fourth figure. All right, that's this one. So I have 15 as a side, and I have 21 as a side. So 15 plus 21 divided by 2, and my height is 20. Notice the height of my trapezoids don't change. Okay, so 15 plus 21 divided by 2 times 20 is 360 square feet. All right, the area of my fifth figure. So we've got 21 and 25 divided by 2 times 20. All right, so we'll figure that out. So 21 plus 25 divided by 2 times 20 gives me 460 square feet. And then the area of my sixth figure, that's my other triangle. So I'm going to do one half base. My base is 20 times my height. The height of my triangle is 25. So one half of 20 is 10. And 10 times 25 is 250 square feet. Now, if we want to figure out what is the estimated area of all of this, then what I have to do is 200 plus 370 plus 320 plus 360 plus 460 plus 250. And when I add all of that together, it gives me 1,960 square feet. So that is the estimated area. And it is estimated because we have a little area that we didn't calculate due to the fact of drawing those trapezoids and, and triangles. All right, suppose that the river flow speed was measured to be an average speed of 176 feet per minute at the cross section. What is the volumetric flow of the water, or the volume of water per minute? So in order to figure that out, what I'm going to do is I'm going to multiply my area times the rate that it is supposed to be flowing. Alright, so when I multiply that, 1960 times 176, I get um, 344,960 feet squared times feet is feet cubed per minute. So it is flowing at 344,960 feet cubed per minute. It says convert the flow to gallons per minute. All right, so one cubic foot is approximately 7.48052 gallons. All right, so how would I do that? Well, I would multiply. Um, it says to do an approximate because I don't know what that is. Uh, I don't know exactly, so I would multiply 3, 344,960 times 7.48052, and it gives me approximately 2,580,480 gallons per minute, which is what is flowing through that river bank. All right. How could surveyors measure the speed of water? All right, well, they could do, um, they could take the time of an object floating over a set distance, um, things like that. So there's all kinds of different things that they could do with this. All right, so hopefully this lesson was not super duper hard. Um, 
you know, I kind of felt the calculator and the computer helped us out tremendously. So guys, have a great week and hopefully I'll see you soon.